Hello there. In this video, we're going to look on the forum and we're going to look on simplified way to use the forum. You'll notice it's a lot of different changes, a lot of different options here. So let's go ahead and just look focus on those which is important for us. First, what we want to go, it is be sure our the forum extensions is installed. You can do this by going inside Stable Diffusion Extension tab. Go click on the available, click Loaded From. When it's done, type the forum. You'll notice this extension will be fine. In my case, because I already installed it, says install it. If you don't have it, just click button and select install. Also, it does utilize FFmpeg to extract frame and combine them together. For this, I will recommend to go to ffmpeg.org and download it from there. As you're downloading, another thing I recommend for you to get it, it is a Topaz Video AI. It is um, AI driven upscaler and it's almost necessary when you work with video inside the stable diffusion because the low resolution it is produced. Beside that, Topaz Video AI can um, add additional frames and I will have a video actually going and showing about what this can do. Overall, it's a one tool that personally I bought it. I'm not, they did not give it to me. So I bought it by myself. I love it. And I always use it and it save a lot of time for me. In short words, what it can do, it can upscale your uh, video with a very sharpness and details if don't exist because it's AI driven and it's actually also frame interpolations because when we're creating, we're creating, you'll see 12 frames per second. In this case, we can go with 24 frames per second and increase the magically quality. So I kind of highly recommend this. I will provide also link for this down below. And I think in a couple of days they will come up with new version. So if you're getting now, you will also get, I think like 15 months of free updates and all this latest new versions. Well, let's go back to what we have here. Then after you install it, go to your install it tab reload it and be sure it display here. I would recommend for you to also click on the check for updates button because it will go and verify if all instant extensions you're using it's up to date. If they're not yet up to date, it will show on your right update bar and you can click apply and restart. In some cases, I notice you apply restart UI. It does not necessarily fix all problems. Sometimes it is and restart server by itself. After all of this completed, it should be displayed. Another tip and recommendation, if you don't use it currently extensions, please disable them. I noticed that some extensions do conflict between each other. Anyone only use those extensions that are currently use it on your project. Next, after this installed, you re reload it. You'll should see this the forum tab on top. Click on this in open. They do provide very nice help and links. You can go check them below but general it's a lot of options here what we're going to utilize it's only a few of them and those is a which very important to us first you'll notice you have it run and you also have it what sampler we're using your checkpoint or model you select down above which i'm using the deliberate and down below we'll use it sampler Euler a usually i'm using the dmp to ambulance career but for the faster kind of overuse for fast rendering, we will use it the Euler A, which is perform okay for as a demo. Next, we have it width and height. This is also important because it will create your frame. This is get more important if you're using other video or any other things as input source, because it won't be cropped or rescaled properly. For example, if we want to use it widescreen, let's change this to 768 and we'll just leave it 768 by five uh, two and if i'm right it's three by two it's kind of standard tv resolution we'll leave it as 25 steps but if you want on production i would recommend you going at least 55 steps on your process rest let's just leave it alone we could come back with a seed if we needed to have it same type of image but for our demo leave it here and we won't go use it any restore faces we also have additional options for the batch processing on animations or resume our animations, which we won't touch it right now. Next, what important part for this, it is a keyframe because in keyframe, you'll notice you have a 2D, 3D video and relations. 
if you're using another video in your modifier you can go click on video input you'll notice a lot of stuff will disappear because it's not usable inside the video and of course for the video if you have it you need to go inside initialization video initialization and have a path for your video display here from my own personal um, the use I found this not necessarily work at the best with video and the other tools which I think prefer much better than the form with the video itself. So but for us what we're we going to do we'll just go use a 2D for now. And 2D most important part for this it is how many frames we want to render because this is determine how long render and how much time it will take it. And most most important it is a this string right here and I will show you in the experimental what does mean if we change this but overall the numbers will affect how much it will get um, closer to the prompt or how much coherence will be stay between different frames how much the similarity will be down below we have it our motions options and you notice right here we have it our zoom I'm just go ahead and switch this zoom to zero point we'll simplify 0.2 um, maybe be careful because big numbers in it above one you kind of zoom in and you have it from um, one like 0 0.9 then you zero zoom out so one it is no movements above one zoom in uh, below one zoom out but general this motions you can kind of experiment and then not relevant currently to our animation because for us we want to be sure our image render correctly and from frame to frame they keep the same character and for this reason we will have it our string is very important let's go ahead and just as experiment we'll go put it as string zero one just to test of course before we start render we'll need it modify some of the prompts how I say in uh, initializations control net we won't touch right now and let's go just in output and switch from 15 frames to 12 frames per second and personally I do 12 frames per second it's a help of 24 frames per second which is normally when you're filming it's what's going notice at same place below you can add a sound music and it's how I create some of the videos I'll just use the file and put it path to my uh, mp3 or wave files and this is will include as it's using ffmpeg application included sound inside the generated or combined video together below we have some additional optional frames which is not relevant to this current video as we're going let's go jump to our prompts and what i want to do right here it's modify some of these prompts make them much easier on the first let's go ahead type cyberpunk girl and notice we have it up to frame 90 let's go click on the run and we'll currently uh, keyframe sorry we'll have it 120 let's go reduce to 60 frames again so that we make preview kind of run faster okay and because we're going to 60 it's mean our last frame right here should be maybe about 50 and we're going 10 let's go this one put it 15 if we have it too many frames between and maybe 30 it won't have it enough frames to change which is okay but we'll try to keep consistency so we'll go right there let's go ahead cyberpunk girl we'll have it punk dog let's try to this one let's go then bunny and we'll switch back to the robot If you don't have it enough frames sometimes switch this kind of prompt they're too close and we won't have a great result in this case if it's happening you want to just remove maybe some of them and minimize on the keyframe how many steps because it's remember it's needed change and when it's um, needed morphing almost from this to this point what is happening here um, each frame need apply the grade and if we're using a low grain on this more persistent image then it's less changes less likely it will change from this image to this just keep this in mind in some cases if you want more consistency your prompt need to be stay as closer as possible to original okay so we've done this let's go ahead on our keyframe we have it 60 
our string is one which is lower and let's go ahead and click generate and preview what's happening and here you can see as it's generating notice how they jumped between one look and another so they will be changing in this case and look it's not very consistent and everything and it's because it's related to our string because so this is probably one of the most important value that you can play around and modify it notice on another frame we'll just jumped to the dog as it thinks it's what i was saying be careful with the prompts try to stay closer as possible to your original subject and you can notice now we have it more dogs and more dogs disappear and now of course when we reach our robot things we jumped to the robot okay i think they're almost done and here ours are complete so let's go ahead preview video and then you notice how much the jumping no consistency at all and this is usually happen when your string is very low so as example let's go put it zero nine and you'll see the difference between of course the best result you can have it on a medium middle and there where sometimes you need kind of play around usually it's a 0 0.65.6 around that area where we can have find sweet spot middle but just as an experiment let's go ahead and try this and you'll notice it's 0 0.9 we have it our model here and you notice we have it as we render its process zoom very close almost no changes so ever happening to our image because our string is 0 0.9 and in this case it's kind of nice to create it but again nothing new created no details added we kind of stuck to this that we can little bit modify this but if we're playing with a noise which i'll show you a little bit later but generally you can see right here all images generated and nothing specific okay it's done let's go upload our video and we'll preview any notice right here we just have a simple some small changes maybe on the neck but nothing compared to the switch to the dog or robots or anything so let's go ahead and we'll take our let's pause this we take our string and we'll switch from zero point this to about 0 0.6 or 55 five. around that area it's where kind of like sweet spot almost in the middle and many times 0 05 uh, will work if you do with initializing image but general 6.5 around this is great and this is what they recommend as well so let's go ahead and click generate and you can see as it's generating it does already switching it's add some text some modification do happen as it's generating because it's have it enough if you think about if these um adding the noise map on the top and let's try add all these details and look right now we switch same pause everything it's switched to the face of the dog so that we have a dog before but it still have some consistency at least on a poses in other elements so now we'll get closer closer to the robot you can see it's morph now to the robot face so of course with these settings with a properly noise setup you will have it one of the better effect let's go upload this video and we'll just go ahead preview you can see the face going switch morph perfectly morph to the face and now switch to the robot so in this case animations look a little bit nicer more natural is and it is flowing properly so with the, these settings you can try to play around between five and six around this area 6.5 remember 6.5 will give it us less changes uh, however 5.5 will have it nice changes but um a little bit more noisy some small details will stop jumping around we may lose it so just as experiment let's go compare with six five okay it's as a default let's go click generate here's our initial image and we can see we're just zooming in most important part when we start switching from person to the dog we'll see if it will jump instantly or if it will um not changing you can see right here how it's already changed very nicely and beautifully to face morphing into the dog face so actually done very good again this is about right place we want to go and you'll notice it's much less details kind of jumping around versus our first and let's preview you can see right here if you watch look on this details small details changing like on her neck you see how the necklace is 
changing a lot in this case and as soon when this is done we'll check this one okay it is done let's update this video preview and you can see the details does not change as much as in another one and we'll still have it human face going very beautiful to the dog face and switching to the robot face okay then next one what i want to point it is using with a noise noise schedulers will allow you to add a little bit more um consistency or different details by default it says to the perlin and if you know perlin noise it's create more bigger elements if you want more consistency switch to maybe uniform noise it won't create some big elements mostly when we start overlaying and we want also increase noise maybe to 0.9 okay let's go now put it switch this 65 i think work very well and we'll go to generate again with these settings and you'll notice because we're using uniform not perlin noise notice how some details still stay a little bit longer and less changeables and now we're switching to the dog face beautiful i'm normally what i'm looking at these details see like this lines that does not change and it's part of this because what type of the noise we're using as well let me switch to the robot so it's done let's go ahead and click update video and let's click preview you'll notice right here the all details to stay there but we change face from girl to the dog and to the robot and notice like small details how they will stay there so they don't change as a lot and it's this is a usual settings to what i was trying to pay attention most important of course let's go again the sizes what type you're using but that is kind of permanent you can play around from keyframes our string is very important 5.5 five, if you want a little bit more flexibility and you can increase up to I don't recommend going above 0 7 and of course in our noise settings switch to uniform and you can increase noise schedule so you will have it a little bit less this blocky things pop up of elements so this is how the effect rest of the settings they usually um, just leave it as default for now till you kind of experiment and it's take one step at a time again work with these settings work with animation everything and when you feel comfortable in understanding how they work you can go to another settings which we'll cover in our other videos thank you for watching this video please subscribe thumbs up and shareable your support is really great great appreciated um with mostly with youtube because youtube sometimes don't like some creators and best things what you can do it is watch all the way this video thumbs up subscribe and share i mean this is the best support you can provide thank you again and remember all those links down below in the description